What's up, y'all? Today's sponsor of this video, this portion of today's video, is Lulu's. And um, actually, our dear friends, Joe and Kemp, actually came out with a little edit and collection with Lulu's. So we're going to be showing some of the pieces today. Some of the pieces. Some of the pieces. And they're so cute. I think they crushed it, especially this top. I'm, like, obsessed with it. Even Booker likes it. Do you love this top? Thank you. Um, so I just wanted to say a quick thank you to Lulu's for sponsoring today's video. And um, I especially like Lulu's during the fall time. I think they really nail like sweaters, denim, stuff like that. Um, so I feel like this collaboration with them was really perfect. Excuse me. These are precious. We cannot have you on there. Excuse me. No, no, no. This dog is into everything, I swear to God. Um, so I just wanted to show you this first piece from the collection. It's so stinking cute. It's um, a perfect, perfect cropped turtleneck. Kemper, you nailed this. Um, and it's loose. It's cool. It's like so chill. I literally have it on just with leggings right now and some Birkenstocks. So just really simple little throw over. Um, and I also got the black one that I think will look really cute jeans. So I'll put that on next. Woo! These jeans. Welcome to the Snatch Fest, Booker. Um, okay, the jeans are amazing. Here they are. Obviously, I would need a little booty with them or just with a sneaker. I'd probably do, like, for this leg, um, a heel probably just to give me a little height that would make my legs look a lot longer. But, damn, those are nice, okay? Really cute. And then here's the black. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Here is the black turtleneck. This is seriously, like, I would run and get this ASAP. I should have a sports bra under it. I think that's the best way with these types of things. So, if you, like, lift your arms up, it's not, like your real bra you know um just like it looks like a bralette but you could even like tuck it under if you wanted it to stay put just so it doesn't fly up but it's so cute this is the perfect basic i'm so happy um i just i love this so much and this is going to be really really cute for the fall and winter i would snatch up these up in both colors wish it came in gray i would probably get the gray too excuse me no 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 i know it's very exciting excuse me no thank you Thank you. Okay. Ah, 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 ah. And last but not least, we have this really cute, a little bit more of a dressy top with an open back, so I'll pop that on right now. Is this green satin polo top. It's kind of button up, and then the back is a little open back. It's so, so cute. And such a cute little dinner top. Oh boy. Um, and I love it, but I think that's my cue that I've got to go. Somebody needs my attention, clearly. Um, but I'll have all the Lulu's pieces linked down below for you guys. Feel free to shop, check them out. I'll have sizing and everything. And let's get into the rest of the vlog. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. This is picking up from our last video, or our last vlog, which was the birthday video. And it's Monday morning, and I'm on my way to pick up a very special individual. He's an artist that we flew into town. We flew into town yesterday on Sunday. I actually booked his flight on Saturday. I'll give you some backstory, but I've been in contact with him and his manager for probably five months now, four or five months, and been working out a time to get him into town. But anytime he was available, we happened to be on vacation or out of town or doing something. And anytime we were free for like a couple months, he was back in Africa, which is where he lives. So he lives in Africa, but he's in America a lot for different trade shows. And um, we were going to line it up where, while he's at a certain trade show, we would just fly him in from that trade show to Nashville and then back to the trade show. So, we did just that. So, about two weeks ago, we found the proper days, which was this weekend. And initially, we were going to fly him out on Julia's birthday. And he was going to leave the day of the party. And we were like, that is going to be way too hectic. So, let's just wait till after the party weekend is over. It's Monday. He's here. He got in last night. So funny story is I was so busy or we were so busy, but I was the one booking his information. I was so busy with all the birthday stuff and prepping for the party and getting our house ready and all that kind of stuff that I forgot because I was so busy. And so on Saturday, I was like, oh my God, he's coming into town tomorrow. I got to book his flight. So on Saturday, I booked his flight on for Sunday. 
and he got in last night. We got him in his hotel room at the Thompson, and we're gonna go pick him up. And we were gonna go straight from the Thompson to an art store, but I think I'm gonna take him by our house first so we can get like proper measurements and just make sure he has the colors that he wants that go in line with like what we're kind of looking to do. And um, I know he's gotta get some canvas and stuff like that. So, so yeah, we're like so excited. I'm, I'm so freaking excited. Ever since I thought of this idea, I was like, okay, I have to make sure this is executed. And we think we're gonna have him do two projects for us. One is a piece of art. And the other one we talked about is something really cool for our half bath uh, powder room down in like the hall bath area. Anyway, I'm gonna quit blabbering. I'm picking them up now and uh, let's have fun. We're excited. Okay, we are back at the house and I have Cater here, Cater Bully. <laughs> and we told y'all he's gonna be working on a piece of art for us. One of the pieces of art he's gonna be doing is the stairwell. up here in the stairwell. Yeah. Uh, music notes will be back where it normally is, down in the hallway. Um, and then lastly, we're tearing the wallpaper down and he's going to be painting the wall. Pretty exciting. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a fun little project. He said think, he's never so. done a bathroom wall before, so this mm. is a new one for, for him. But yeah. uh, yeah. we're going to go dark paint yeah. and yeah. then white and gold to kind of contrast all yeah. yeah, I think it's a great idea. Kind of yeah. like the feeling yeah. of like a hotel bathroom, you know? He wants to be like the vibe and, when you go in. Yeah. Yes. We're going to change like the sink and stuff, and so it'll be like all different in there, okay. so it'll be good. Yeah, especially in uh, Rustic black will be good. Yeah, I know it's a kind of warmer. Yeah, a little warmer. Like, exactly. But anyways, I'm excited him to be here. I we kind of told you that we had a surprise, and here's the surprise. I know, <laughs> so. in the flesh, and he's so sweet and nice <laughs> yeah, too. He's so awesome. um, we're gonna just watch the whole process. We'll vlog everything. We're gonna go to the art store, pick up a few supplies, yeah. and we'll show you the process as we go. All right, here we are we're at the art store. This is exciting. I don't know. It's a whole new world for me. I'm like, shit, I might do some, start doing some art up in here. <laughs> it is literally the nicest ever. Ooh, look at that. That's fun. All right. Aha. Uh -huh. 48 by 72. That's four foot by uh, six foot. Four by six. Okay. You think this going to get lost on it, in it? Uh? You think? Not big so, enough. Not big enough. Yeah. I think we need at least We have five. to make one ourselves. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. okay. I'm down. I just probably get loose canvas. Mm -hmm. Get the plywood. Would you? Cool. Do you think it would make sense to maybe do as, an, as another option if we can do the, the canvas? But if we did it where it was like. like oh, like, like stacked? Oh. Interesting. Forms. And they're like maybe separated, like by an inch, but it's all one big picture. Or uh, I think, uh, <laughs> you like it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that could um, be cool on her. Almost what it's like. Yeah, four pieces, yeah. And then, yeah. yeah, yeah. But they could also, we could also have them close together if we wanted it to look like yeah, one, but then all. you could technically yeah. break them apart. It's like, it, it's, maybe you paint it while it's together, but then when we separate it like that, yeah. it all blends together. That's a great idea. I think that's a good idea. And that way, if it ever, if we move and it doesn't fit somewhere, we could break up the yeah, pieces. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Would it, would it be better to do that or, or, or like get a taller skinny piece and do two? Right, like panels. Four, four on this wall would be perfect. Okay. Four, okay. Well, th these, these are squares. If we, if we get ones that aren't squares, like maybe... What if we do panels? Is it, is it 30 by 40? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Yeah, that's what we need. It's possible to do it just this part, but then uh, to separate them later would be a problem. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm kind of thinking that... Yeah, let's keep it simple. You think simple? Yeah, simple, like maybe not even, but like, it's good like this. Uh, the uh, effects without doing a half bath. Okay. Yeah. Just, just take the tape, then I oh, okay. paint it on it, take it off. Okay. Yeah, I can do the same thing, so they all so just, I just want the line. They contain them together. Yeah. Okay. And just do it around the outside? Yeah, just on the outside. Okay, that's a good idea. I don't know what I'm realizing, Hunter, is that every time we hang out with an artist, we're like, oh, we really vibe with this person. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm starting it's to great. connect the dots. <laughs> like, maybe I need to start painting. It was gonna be eight feet. He said eight. We're trying to figure out logistics. Um, yeah, this is so fun. I feel like we just, our brains, when you meet other creative people, I'm realizing your brain thinks the same way. And it's just like fun and like, it's just good vibes. So he's so cool, I love him. All right, so yeah. this, this will be under six feet. Okay. Um, so. 
What did we do? One more. One more. Well, what six. I was what I was thinking, huh? What did we do? Six. No, no. What I was thinking okay. is to do. So, this would be where it's eight feet tall. Eight feet tall. Okay. No. That's no. what we wanted, right? Yeah. That's yeah. What we wanted. But the width would be uh, wider. Here, let's see this one more time. It's five. Would be thirty-six times two. It's seventy-two. It would leave a foot on each it's side. It's a huge wall. Yeah, it's a big wall. So we could fill it up. It would fine. We'll have fun. Yeah. Let me get four. Do you need an extra one for any reason? Yeah. Let me get five. Like a plywood? Oh. I don't know. Just let's, in case. Let's, let's get. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it myself. So if I make some stuff. No, no, you don't have to buy it. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, so you want like an extra one just in case? Can you get three? Three extras? Yeah. You guys' opinion here, what colors do you love? Do you like oh, this yeah. color? Yeah, I like that. Like a warmer white. Yeah. It's a little bit warmer. This is good. You but like you it. put okay. it a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Like uh, spicy food? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like you have sushi, well, you put a little bit of it. A little wasabi. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, a little zaz. Did you get some bronze? Yeah, I got some. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm drawn to like this deeper. I don't know why I'm loving dark colors right now. They're making me feel some sort of way. Yeah. Like, like this kind of stuff? Uh, whatever color tone, but yeah, just something dark. Dark, dark and, black and white also. This is white, yeah. I think. Yeah. I think we need another gold. Maybe another like a bright, I think a, a bright gold. Yeah, bright, bright gold. gold. True gold. Yeah. yeah. Real gold, like when you say it, it is. Okay. Yeah, get, get whatever, man. We, yeah. we trust it. Yeah. And I was envisioning like a bright gold. You know what like I mean? Like more yellow, like like this. Yeah, I like you know something like a kind of neutral gold, not too yellow, not too bronzy. I just yeah. want it like a true, like a gold jewelry. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, let's get photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if we find a yeah. big, bigger yeah, one, it'd be can, better. Yeah, we can so switch. you can go yeah. wild with it. Yeah. But this is good. I like okay. It. This is so fun. We can put it probably, or would it block? No, that's fine. That's fine. Then we can, we'll take care of it. We got it. Yeah. Okay. When I initially reached out was for this project, and I'm like, dude, if he can make it here, we're gonna have to have you do a painting as well. So he's gonna do the walls in here. He's gonna do the canvas. So all this will change, but we're gonna start with the art on the walls and then build off of it. So I'm gonna have to take this mirror down, the lights, and then the wallpaper, get it painted before tomorrow. <laughs> and then um, he's gonna start the project. So he's gonna do the canvas today and then probably this project tomorrow. So it begins. So it begins. We gotta get all this wallpaper down. Um, does that just come off? Like, oh, there you go. Okay, perfecto. Each one the signature, but the signature will be slightly different. This is the main one for the whole piece. Tinted lenses in a pink gelato Falling out the window hit me back tomorrow Will always be the one tough fact to follow Cause we aiming for the stars with a point and hollow Feeling these songs, making jokes and colors This job selling rocks and arms Cause it only swipe right if you fuck for follows Welcome to the days of the broken shadow But if we just smoke
day two. Gator is back this morning working on the bathroom. Did we show? Yeah, we showed them the bathroom. We were painting it. Yeah. And it was he, actually so easy. Like I thought, oh my gosh, we have to paint the whole bathroom, but we literally, he was just like, just paint the wall and I'll work on it wet, and it's mm -hmm. like it'll take. Well, that long. and also like we're not. Although I'm a perfectionist, I get very serious and into projects like that. Where I'm a perfectionist and want the color and the wall to be perfect. Yeah. This is supposed to be rough. It is. Sorry, we're trying to make a coffee. This um, is supposed to be like intentionally just like um, imperfect. Exactly. And so it was just nice like kind of slopping paint on the wall and then having Cater come in behind me and make it look good. Feels good to let go a little. <laughs> I think that's why you don't like when I'm so messy because it shows you how, per how perfectionist you are. And so when I drop paint, you're like annoyed. Well, you're just like a slop sometimes. And you're like, oh, whatever. I don't care. I actually <laughs> I didn't tell us. I wish I was a little bit more like Exactly, that. which is why you probably, it's like, babe, get it together. <laughs> it's funny, like the things that sometimes bother you about other people are probably the things you really actually admire the most, you know? Totally. It's funny. <laughs> you have to like keep yourself in check though. Oh, by the way, I know we've been saying cater and sometimes we say kader. It's either or. Kader is the African Kader, pronunciation, yeah. but he said for English Ameri speaker, yeah, Americans, Americans, Kader is Kader. easier to say, so you can say whatever you want. We, I think I've been saying both, but I know some of y'all actually got that question on Instagram <laughs> multiple times, like, can you ask him how to say his name? Like, oh, really? Yeah, okay, yeah. So I'm going to ask you guys some questions on Instagram, just so you can get to know him a little bit better and understand his art a little bit more, and it's so incredible, and he's such a cool person, so, yeah, I just... I want you guys to experience that as well. I'm gonna um, go uh, bring you guys in so you can watch him paint. It's like watching like Michelangelo at the at the um, Vatican. It's kind of fun. So. But you wander through your thoughts like a broken promise. In it for the monetary growth of power. But we divided at the bottom of this whiskey sour. Exploiting mm -hmm. whatever I was born into and seen around. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, which is, uh, you know, usually the things that works because those are the things that are more deep in your soul. Mm -hmm. You know, like your, uh, your, like you know, the brain is like a computer too. It's like it absorbs. Yeah. So like you know, whatever is around you when you were growing up. You could always exploit it and not to go wrong. Mm -hmm. I believe in that. Okay. Like, you know, not to looking too far, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what happened to me. Like, not everybody probably would do it or not uh, everybody should do it, but it's happened to be my path. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Happened to be my path. Yeah, sometimes it's uh, not easy to find the words. Yeah. yeah. I think it's cool, really cool. Exploiting, or uh, you know, like I'm trying to find a, a, another short formula to say. Sure, another it's, word. It's almost like using. It's like exploiting your own life. I think that's the way to say it. Yeah. I'm exploiting the things that I grew up around, and I'm using that as inspiration. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 would be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would be good. Oh, uh, I pulled I pulled this out. Were you wanting to do a signature on this one? Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you always do it in the bottom right? Yeah, I enjoy doing it uh, in Down the there? bottom right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the village I want to do it is my in my village. Like, uh, it's a village of maybe thirty people. What's the village called? Sulu. Sulu. Yeah. Is it S U L U? Sulu. S O U L 
or you. Okay. Well, it's not even on the map. It's uh, the closest is Sabse. S A B C E. S A B C E. Sabse. Burkina. You gotta add Burkina Faso. And then you see probably on the map where it is. I want to come to when we go. I want to look for um, mud cloths and textiles. I'm like. Oh, I make Love a, textiles. We, we make a, I make a mud cloth too. You do? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I have plenty of mud cloth. You really? Oh, I, I design it and I make the the guys around that don't have job they come and work. Oh, oh cool. Nice. Yeah, I, I give the drawing. That's amazing. You know how to do it, right? Like, like no. leaves and. Uh, I've never mud. done it. No. Oh, okay. Maybe we can. We'll come it. and do it. Yeah. 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 That sounds good. I want to. I want you to can even it. come and design your uh, motifs if you like. You know, play yeah. around. Yeah. yeah. How far is the flight? It's like uh, looking at at least 20. What I would do is I stop in Europe overnight. Yeah, that's what you do normally? No, no, not me. I go straight, like, not. Because you uh, do it so 20, much. 24 hours. Bro. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yes. Yeah, you do it like. What uh, do you do on the airplane? I just sit around, drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, draw? Watch movies. Yeah, yeah I draw. Yeah, yeah. Lot of, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I happen to draw. Yeah, but you can stop like in uh, Turkey, hang out, mm. uh, visit like a uh, different culture. What's yeah. your favorite European city? I think Turkey. Turkey. Really? Istanbul. Istanbul. Really? Cool. Istanbul is great. Oh man. Oh, you crushed this. So yeah. Crushed it. I'm pretty signature. happy about it too. Yeah. I love the signature on each one too. Mm -hmm. That was cool. Yeah. It kind of became like a like a pattern almost. Yes. Uh -huh. So it is going to melt into the, exactly. the motif and everything. So cool. That wall that's going on up the stairs. Yeah. I almost want that wall to be like a just one accent dark wall, and Ooh. then like this is just like. That's a great idea. You know what I mean? Totally. You know when you have it like separated, and you have like the dark kind of in between, you know, like whatever the color of the wall is yeah. versus white. Yeah. All right, so we haven't given much of a rundown on what we're doing in here. So we painted the walls and the ceiling black. Uh, are the same color as the color of my office. It's Urbane Bronze by Sherwin Williams. And we had Cater come in here and add his Cater touch. So he kind of went wild in here and did his thing. And it's coming together like freaking great. We're loving it. But just so y'all know, we're gonna get new lighting in here, a new sink, a new toilet, this um, trim and up there and around the room and all that kind of stuff will be painted the same color as well but in the semi-gloss like my office so we just had this done for now so Cater can get his stuff painted and then when he's gone we can come back in here and touch it all up and fix it so still a little bit more to do but uh, it's looking good we're loving it I really like this little face right here. You can really see it. You wouldn't recognize it unless you like knew where to look. End goal is to make this room uh, really moody. And so we have this light on right now. Let me show you. If the light is off, this light is the only light that will be on and it'll be like really nice and moody in here. And this will be dark as well, and so everything will be like nice and comfortable and kind of like give you an experience when you're going to the bathroom. Kader also felt really inspired um, when he was doing some of the work yesterday and, and just like threw this piece together. And it's beautiful. It's like very um, free. I feel I see it's like so much freedom in that. Also, I had the idea for him to do like some coasters. I'm gonna get them either like uh, like glass on top of it or some kind of like acrylic. I haven't decided yet what we're gonna do here. That way we can put actual drink on it without getting the canvas wet. But um, we were just trying a few different things out with him. And this is one of the kind of ideas I was like, oh, that could be kind of cool, like to have like a set of Kader Boli coasters on your coffee table or in the bourbon room or something like that. So, another cool thing. Joe and I are actually catching up on work now. I'm probably gonna edit a vlog here after I catch up on some emails and just everything we've missed out on while we had Julia's party and while we were hosting Cater 
He's actually still here. Um, he's basically using our house now as a studio. Um, the basement and our garage kind of going back and forth between areas doing artwork, some for us, some for another client he got while he was in town here in Nashville. So he's working on a couple different projects and he's here for a couple days. We're like, just make our house your studio and use it how you want to. So nice being around other creatives. Yeah, it expands your brain. Yeah, and like, Sorry, we're I came not, over because I heard you talk about that and I was like, yes. <laughs> I'm not a painter by any means. Like, we're not painters. I mean, we could, anyone could express themselves through paint or through art. But what I'm saying is like our of medium art. of creativity isn't paint, but his is. Right. And ours is something else. But it's nice to be around other people with other creative avenues and outlets because you can kind of like vibe off each other and get ideas and feel inspired together and be creative cool. together. So just like the conversations we've been having over the last 48 hours, it's inspired him, it's inspired mm -hmm. us, it's inspired you, it's inspired me individually, together. Totally. It's just really cool. So we've really enjoyed having him here and um, we're yeah, we're, we're, like, like, we're grateful that once I connected with him, like we're grateful he took the opportunity and came and like building a good relationship with him now where we want to go like to Africa. To Africa, we're <laughs> gonna visit his studio and we're going to the farm. Yeah, we're gonna go stay at his he farm. a lot of animals, and, like, go figure. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah like y'all need to come. We're gonna make it happen. and. He's truly become like a good friend, so it's cool. Very thankful. Yeah. And excited. Anyways, we just want to give out an update. I feel like a lot of this video has been slightly like B-roll, but I wanted to like connect with you guys for a second and kind of give you all some updates because we've had a lot of like shots of the art and uh, yeah. we're still here, so. All right, well, Cater just left a little bit ago. We are sad to see him go. I think we might have said on Instagram that he was only supposed to be here for two days and he ended up staying four. Yeah. So it was nice like having him in town and continuing to come over and he like turned our whole house into a studio Like he would work on yeah. one painting out on the back porch Some in the living room some in the dining room. Sometimes he was in my office Sometimes he was outside out front mm -hmm. like he was just moving around and one really cool thing I saw him do that I was just really inspired by is he would jump from like piece to piece He wouldn't like work on one piece until it was completed. Yeah, he'd work on a piece until it, or and then he would feel inspired by another piece or inspired to go create a new one based on an idea he had he just kind of bounced around and then he would he kind of just like created like a ongoing motion totally. of like art yeah it was really yeah. cool like yeah i was so inspired yeah. by him i'm always like get really inspired by other people that are creative and i learned so much this week from mm -hmm. watching him and it was just like the, I, I feel like the biggest thing I took away is just that the possibilities of what you want to create are limitless mm -hmm. and you can create whatever life you want and he talked a lot about his childhood and just how growing up he always knew there was more and that he, he could go after anything he wanted and okay. that's true for anybody um, and I think that we definitely have like done that in some aspects but it just makes me excited to like keep going and like reaching for like the, the highest yeah um, keep going keep exploring keep trying new things yeah. and i think that's like a message that and have fun we try to communicate support and communicate and promote on the channel but it was amazing for us to hear it from someone and else to be able well. to like look up to somebody that's doing it yeah you know? yeah just like getting some of the inspiration from him and like really made us both feel incredibly inspired yeah brought a lot of creativity out of us as well and yeah even just like being there with him to almost assist in him creating those pieces. It wasn't like us working on the art at all, but us being creative around him, it gave him inspo to like add certain things to his art. And yeah. I don't know, when, you, when a bunch of creators are around each other, no matter like the space they're in, Some there's just an extra aura in yeah, the air. Fun and, and productive. Like, and it, he also showed me that like working can just be super fun. Like you can mm -hmm. light a fire, we can blast music, we can have cocktails during the day and like also work at the same time. It yeah. doesn't have to be like black and white. Does that totally. make sense? You create whatever environment in life that you want. You decide. And just because it's not the status quo, that's the whole point is that it should be different than what everyone else is doing because yeah. if you don't create a difference in your life then nothing will evolve do you see what i'm saying like the world has to keep changing so you have to explore and try different things different than things. what everyone else is doing like no single piece of his art is the same mm -hmm. and i mean how many he probably has tens of thousands of pieces he's created over the past like 20 years mm -hmm. and no piece is the same like he's just constantly like pushing himself and one thing I really saw in him that like I really appreciate and want to work on personally and yeah. probably for the both of us is he doesn't let any stress 
get in the way. Like he really removes all stress out of his life. So he's able to reach his full potential in each piece that he's creating. Yeah. He's able to reach like full creativity. and He doesn't have any fear. Yeah. Like he just, and I asked him about that. I was like, well, what about, do you ever question like what you're doing and thinking like, oh, it's not good enough. And he's like, no, I just keep going. He mm -hmm. just, he goes, I don't know if every piece is, you know, perfect, but every piece will hit somebody differently. So that's a relief in yeah. um, the sense of like creating things. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't wear the weight of the world on his shoulders. No. He actually just paints the world and yeah. that's it. Like he lets all those factors and maybe he pulls inspo. Like maybe there's something he's going through that's stress, but he puts that into his art. Yeah. You know what I mean? Totally. Um, cool. He did quite a few pieces while he was here. I mean, what, like 20 or more pieces mm -hmm. and a lot of them have already sold. Um, all the pieces he puts on his Instagram. So we'll leave his Instagram here on the screen if we haven't already. Yeah. And you can go check out all the pieces that he has listed for, for yeah. sale. And he did our bathroom, our bathroom. I'm so oh excited. Oh my God, you guys. Yeah, we'll do like a full, we have to finish it up and then we'll do like a full reveal, but the walls are done as you probably saw the progress of in the video and it's, it's epic. next level. So we'll epic. do like the full bathroom renovation Yeah. and continue to show that as we go in the vlogs, but he, like what he did, we're able to build off that. Yeah, So. I know. Anywho, that was one of the most fun videos for us to record just because we are having such a good time. Oh my god, we are having every so single much day fun. that he was here. Yeah. So love it. Anyways, we hope you guys you guys enjoyed watching it. It's such a different experience for us and for you. Um, and we hope you liked it. Yeah. See y'all next time. Bye. Bye.